and welcome back. Before cities start to undertake activities to embed social and environmental considerations into their procurement processes, they should collect data and create an evidence base about their existing procurement spend. This is the first step in the cycle of procurement. Very few municipalities in Europe actually know how much money they spend through procurement on an annual basis. Where that money goes geographically, sectorally, and in business type terms, what the wider impact of that spending is upon local economies, and what are the social and environmental outcomes. We understand that not all municipalities will want to undertake a full spend analysis, as it is both capacity and resource intensive. However, many cities will want to understand more about their procurement spend with suppliers. To create this spend analysis, we will need to understand where money goes geographically, sectorally, and in business type terms. Indeed, the first thing that cities need to decide upon is their geography of focus. Cities could be interested in how much they spend with suppliers based in a particular neighbourhood, within their city boundary, within a wider region, or within their country. They just need to decide which geography or geographies they want to explore. This is a really important decision, as spend analysis is undertaken using an Excel lookup function. The function explores whether a supplier's postcode or other geographical identifier is in the defined geographical area or not. So cities also need to collect a full list of postcodes or other geographical identifiers for the geography which they're undertaking the analysis for. For example, Preston, which is an urbax good practice city, have largely undertaken spend analysis at two geographical levels, the municipality boundary, Preston, and the wider region, Lancashire. They have therefore collected as their base data every postcode in Preston and Lancashire. The second thing cities need to decide upon when creating a spend analysis is how they're going to categorise sectors and SMEs. Different countries across Europe will use different categorisation systems, so it's important that you follow the one that is most appropriate for your country. Villanova de Family Cow in Portugal uses CPV codes as a way of categorising sectors. However, the city of Cavala in Greece uses activity codes. In terms of SMEs, Schaerbeck in Belgium uses their own definition of an SME, being an organisation with less than 50 employees. Other cities, like Bistrica in Romania, use the European defined less than 250 employees. The third thing cities need to do is decide over which time frame they want to undertake spend analysis. This could be undertaken on an annual basis, so for all procurement spend for 2019, or it could be undertaken on a financial year basis. So the financial year could be that of 2019, 2020. It could be spent over a, a three month period or a three year period, or it could be undertaken over any other time frame deemed appropriate. Once cities have decided upon which geography they're going to undertake spend analysis at, how they're going to categorise sectors and SMEs, and over what time frames, they then need to collect actual procurement spend data for the time frame agreed upon. This information will be held by different individuals in different municipalities. It could be held by a finance team or by the procurement team itself. However, regardless of where it is kept, the following information needs to be collected for the top 300 suppliers by value. The name of each supplier. A mean of identifying the geography of each supplier. This could be a postcode or a zip code or the city in which they are based. The amount spent in total with that organization in the applicable timeframe. Whether they are an SME or not, and which industrial sector they are from. Once all the previous information has been collected, cities need to use the Make and Spend Matter Spend Analysis tool to undertake their spend analysis. This tool will do the analysis for you and will tell you how much you spend in total with your top 300 suppliers, how much is spent in the defined geographical area, how much is spent with SMEs, and how much is spent with specific industrial sectors. And there we are. As we've just covered, performing a spend analysis will be crucial for a city in order to identify which wider economic, social and environmental challenges it will want procurement to address. See you next time. Bye for now.